Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I don't know why. I, I've got a stray card here. The death card is out. I am becoming a better person. Transformation is here. Um... Yeah, I, so when I get a stray card, you know, my readings are a mess, right? I have to clean up after myself every reading, and that's how I get a stray card in the deck. Um, and when I do, when I find one, it's a, it's a big message to me, like it pops out, right? This is death and transformation. Death isn't necessarily a bad thing. Something is coming to an end, but a transformation um, comes out of it, okay? Um, and somebody is going through a transformation right now. This could be maybe a death of an ego, right? Um, their ego death, that kind of thing. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. So yes, I really do feel like this person is going through some kind of transformation. Um, the fact that when they, you know, they don't want their heart to go back to you, that's them holding on to control, right? trying to control their feelings, trying to control um, how they feel about you, what they're thinking. And control. This person could have been a control freak in the past. Um, I feel like they were just, they, this is an ego death, period, done. This person's transforming. They're doing some kind of work on themselves. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm led to use this deck. So let's see what we get from it. We've got a man holding a coin. This could be a really hard worker. Look at their hands, right? This person could be like a farmer, maybe, with the field in the background. Um, they could, I don't know, work in horticulture or uh, just a hard worker, you know? And I feel like this is an offer that they're going to make. I kind of get the feeling like this person wants to give you a big old apology. Look, to the angel of love. That's you, collective. The angel of love. This person's coming forward. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Not necessarily, though. I've got Scorpio out here, too, with the straight card. Um, you can be any sign for this reading, just so you know. If something pulled you in... Um, to the title, there's something in this for you, okay? But let's see what else we get out. Divine, what, uh, what can you show me here for the collective? What messages do you have? So we've got, I feel like a person, I don't know if it's masculine or feminine energy. Um, take it how it resonates, but somebody here is going through a transformation. They didn't want to feel the way that they felt about you, okay? I feel like they tried to push it out of their head, out of their heart. Uh, they tried to push you out of their soul, but they, they, their heart always goes back to you. And I just feel like they're, they're surrendering here. It kind of feels like a surrender. This person's going to be coming after you, chasing you. You are standing here now at the garden gate. Okay, ready to say goodbye, ready to start your own journey. You got your bags packed here. You're giving up a dream. You're like, eh, I don't need it anymore, right? I feel like you've made it across a very rickety bridge. I'm just seeing the bridge probably goes back all the way here. It's been a long journey for you. You got just a little bit more to go, right? And you're releasing something. So you're releasing this person. Um, you're ready to move on, collective, using your intuition. And when I say you've made it to the garden gate, you had to, you had to walk all your way here. It's been a long journey, but you've had a major transformation. And I feel like you've been waiting for someone else to transform, too. And that's what this is. Um... But you've got this gate, you've got, even though you've got this gate closed, you're still kind of standing here, sort of wondering, is this person ever going to, are they ever going to drop their ego? Are they ever going to see the light? Is there ever going to be a transformation for this person, right? I feel like you guys are just about ready to turn around away from this gate and go enjoy your garden. It's time for you to enjoy 
um, everything that you've worked for, all of your efforts, right? Because here around you, you've got all of this abundance, but you're not looking at it. You're not stopping to smell the flowers, nothing, nothing. I feel like you're just, you're, you've been wondering if somebody is going to change their crazy ways, right? Um, their negativity, okay? Uh, and I feel like you're just done standing at that gate. It's time for you to take a new journey. And I feel like um, you're going in a different direction than uh, at maybe even a few other people. I'm seeing I'm, uh, people may want you to go backwards, but you're moving forwards, I feel, to uh, in a new direction altogether. Use your intuition. Um, yeah, what else can you show me here for the collective? This person's going to come chasing after you now. Now the runner has turned into the chaser since you're releasing and saying goodbye. Some of you could be making a house move. Some of you could even decide to stop and smell the roses on a vacation. Okay? Your bags are packed. Mm -hmm. away. <laughs> what song is that? Is that leaving on a jet plane? I'm leaving on a jet plane. I think it is. I don't know when I'll be back again. Yeah, you know what? I feel like you guys are just leaving the scene. Um, strategy, contract. I feel like this is justice here. I feel like this masculine is thinking up some strategy, some way to talk to you. Okay? They're opening up their throat chakra. This person's about to come forward. They're, manif they're manifesting you, but at the same time, this is just putting a lot of thought into something. I, even though it says rest and rejuvenation, I'm feeling like this person is thinking up a strategy. How do they come back in and communicate? with this feather you guys may be seeing feathers laying around um steve's love tarot right he described the feather thing to me perfectly um in a reading he did not to me me but um to everybody in a reading um something about black and gray and white fe uh, feathers like new things good things are coming towards you it's a good omen right um, and I, I feel like um, I don't that was a reading he did a long time ago. I don't even remember the name of it, but um, yeah, I feel like some of you could be seeing feathers laying around. This could be um, a sign that your person is approaching because they are coming in really fast. I'm not kidding. The runner, this person was a runner before. They were running from how they felt about you. They didn't want to accept it. They didn't want to look at it. This is somebody who really didn't plan on falling in love, but they did. And that love has transformed this person. I am becoming a better person. So now they want to talk. They're opening up their uh, throat chakra here. Okay? Um, planning a strategy uh, to bring in justice to the situation to balance these scales out. This is communication coming in, guys. They could be, even some of them are, are planning on writing you a letter. To be honest with you, you know, a lot of you are like a letter. Here's the thing, I like letters. You know why? Because you can read back over them and you can study the way they write and you can kind of pick up whether or not they're lying, okay? Um, Watch the words carefully, okay? Letters are great because you can you can pick up a lot on that. Um, you know, sometimes you, you you know, listening to something that somebody says, it's in one ear and out the other, especially if you're stressed out, right? If you're worried or if you feel anxious, you may not pick up on everything. But if this person writes you a letter, you can review it in a calm setting and really pick up on the messages. So don't, you know, if, if you think them writing a letter is a cowardly way of, of coming towards you, it is, <laughs> okay? 
if this person may not want to face you, but you know what? A letter is actually, it works in your favor, I feel. There's a lot of signs you can't pick up on, like their body language and the bead of sweat rolling down their forehead. But um, at least you can review it in a calm state, right? This person, though, they're coming forward. They want to open that door to romance just as you're walking away. Just as you're walking away. But this person's about to take action. It's, it, I feel like it all starts with that base chakra. This is somebody who is going to take action, and I feel like um, they're going to do everything they can to get you back, okay? Uh, yeah, because I feel like they want to be happy. They go from what well, we started with the, the man holding the pentacle to now the man holding a heart. So I feel like... Um, and it's not gender specific, okay? It's just the, it's the cards, guys, see? Um, so, you know, take it how it resonates with you, right? But this person, the runner, the one who ran from how they felt about you, they're about to come back. And they're coming in fast, okay? Um, yeah, they want, look, they want to heal this with you. They want to heal this. They want to um, They want to join in. You, uh, I feel like they want to join you on this journey. Now, it's going to be up to you because you're already done. I feel like you're done. You've got your bags packed. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I don't know all the words to the song, but you're leaving on a jet plane, Collective. That means you're leaving fast, quickly, moving forward. You're done. Once you're done, you move forward. There's nothing to stop you or slow you down, right? That's what this is. You're leaving on a jet plane. You're walking away. You are the woman holding the heart. Okay? You are. Um, and this man holding a heart wants to come towards you and meet in the middle and heal this thing. They want to heal this. Now, you may not let them into your gate, but I feel like it, once this person comes towards you, however they come towards you, right? Um, you're going to open the window and at least hear them out. That's, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. You, will, you may not let them into the gate just yet, but you're, I feel like you are going to hear them out and at least um, allow them to close out the cycle properly by giving you an olive branch here. I'm just seeing this dove piece, right? So there can be at least a peace. Can there be a peace between us, right? <laughs> yeah, um, this person's opening their heart. Their heart chakra is open. Their throat chakra is open. This person's going to be talking to you, telling you how they feel. I feel like the ball's going to be in your court, though. The runner, the one who... Um, didn't want to face, ooh, wow, yeah, they know your value now. They didn't want to face how they felt about you, um, but now they, now they can't, they can't help themselves. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I feel like you're an empress energy right now. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody. Here you are standing tall, proud, strong, right? Um, Empress, the Empress here uh, shows great appreciation, number one, to the divine because you have been divinely led through a long journey that's brought you to transformation. I feel like all your hard work, this is, look at all the growth you have from all the seeds you've planted, okay? Um, and I feel like, though, you're still holding this flower. You're still like, I'll always have the, a place in my heart for this person, but you're also standing very strong, um, kind of protecting all of this money, your door to value, all of your blossoming abundance that still hasn't even gotten here yet. I feel like it's just, it's blossoming, right? Everything is opening up for you. I feel like you're seeing things clearly. I'm seeing this as an open eyeball, to be honest, okay? And I feel like um, you're moving on. Your bags are packed. You're ready to go. Oh, I wish I knew all, this, all the words to that song. It's leaving on a jet plane. 
Um, but yeah, if this person didn't see your value before, because I feel like they were in King of Pentacles energy, I feel like this person may have been very materialistic, but you, you had planted seeds at one point that are now becoming extremely abundant. You've got the, you got money just flying in. Some of you might even notice that, um, because you're making a decision to go in a different direction, you know, the divine is pointing you in a different direction maybe than, than you had planned or that you were even dreaming of, you know. Um, but you're, you're following your faith here and leaving quickly on that jet plane. And I, I feel like since then, um, making that decision, it's like, it, it's almost like that's what started the wheel turning here. And as that wheel turns, you're not on delay anymore. And all of your blessings are allowed to come in now. Okay? With a four, especially, this is a blessing from the divine. Because you, you listened. You're still listening. Um, you're still following their guidance. Okay? Still keeping your love intact. With, especially with the 44. Um... Yeah, if this person didn't know your value before because they judged you off of something material, right? Maybe you you had just started planting these seeds and they hadn't grown yet, you know? Maybe you were going through a financial struggle or just a time of major struggles. We've all been through it. I struggled most of my life. I'll attest to that. I'm in the same boat. I feel like I was judged also by the material world, right? How much I had in my pocket, not how much I had in my heart. And I feel like you were judged the same way by this person and they tried to get you off of their mind. They didn't plan on falling in love, but this person, I feel like they can't deny it anymore. They can't deny it anymore. Now this person sees your value now. Okay? So, you know, honestly, I feel like they have love for you, but they're still kind of um, looking at your abundance. But I feel like you just, you surprised this person because they didn't think you would be this abundant, but you are. And they see now that you're the catch. And the fact that you don't need them or anybody else in this energy, um, it's making them, and that you're leaving, it's making them chase. It's making them come after you. I mean, in a good way. They're like, they they have this newfound respect for you, and I feel like um, I feel like they definitely see your value now. Not just, and they're they're looking at this like, yeah, you have the biggest heart too. You got a huge heart collective. They're seeing it. Okay, so what else can you show me for the collective? So yeah, you've got a person from your past coming towards you who is going through a transformation, realizing your value, not just all the abundance you've created, but they see how big your heart is. And they can't deny how they feel about you anymore. Um, they're, not, they're not as materialistic as they used to be. Um, now they're opening up to love and how they feel. Um, but um, they, they also see your abundance, okay? Broken heart. Yeah, this is somebody who broke your heart. Got storm warning on the bottom of the deck, so that's not good. Okay, what is this broken heart all about? This person's ready to come forward. Yeah, I feel like this is them. They've got a lot of financial constraints right now. Their cupboards are freaking bare. Not only are their cupboards bare as far as like money and like they don't, they really don't have anything anymore. I feel like this person used to have money and they may have seen you, um, they, they may have thought they were better than you at one point. Now you're doing better than they are. And I feel like, um, I kind of get the sense that this they know that you're doing better and they broke your heart. You're but you're having a victory now. You're having a victory now. So they're looking at you from a whole new perspective. 
They're seeing that you're doing way better than them now. And this is somebody who judged you for the struggles you were in. And now they're the ones who are struggling. Their cupboards are bare. I feel like this person, uh, and with a four, that's the divine's doing to teach this person a lesson. You don't judge somebody else. You don't take a huge heart and break it because you think that they have nothing. Now the divine has put them in some financial constraints. Now that it looks to me like they have nothing. Okay? Everything has changed, and that change, I think, has helped to bring in this transformation. Yeah, now you're the woman holding the coin. I told you. First, we started off with this person being the one holding the coin, right? Now you're the one holding the coin. Very intuitive. Some of you may have a black cat. Um, yeah, you're extremely intuitive, and I feel like that intuition has brought you to a lot of abundance. It's brought you along this long journey to this point where you're ready to say goodbye. And um, this person doesn't want to, they really don't want to let you go. Um, they know they can live a very comfortable life with you as well, though. Okay? But they're coming in holding this heart. So I know they have love here. You're going to have to use your discernment. But now the roles are flipped, right? The one who was struggling is now the woman holding the coin with all this abundance. And the one who thought they were better than you because of their abundance is now struggling. Hmm. Yeah. Think about that, right? I feel like you guys may be really exhausted, too, at this time. You could even be studying um, how to, you know, go further, right, with whatever it is that you're doing. There's an 11 here. You're being guided to keep, um, keep learning, right? But uh, this learning, it may keep you up late at night. Look at how tired you are. You're exhausted. I feel like you're exhausted by this journey. You're exhausted with all the information. Like this is kind of being mentally exhausted. So you guys may need to rest in order to make a clear judgment call on this because the ball is going to be in your court. Okay? So get your rest so you can be sharp when this person comes in. And they are coming in. They're taking action here with the root chakra. Um, the runner is now the chaser. But you're going to have to use your discernment because they, they do have feelings for you. But now they're coming back around because you're leaving and you're abundant. They may see you as an opportunity. Okay? For happiness. Look. So, um, yeah, use your discernment, but you're going to have to be sharp. Get your rest. Get your rest. You guys are exhausted. You know it, too. Somebody's nodding their head like, yeah, I know, right? Yes. Hello. Who for whoever that is. Yep, I'm picking up on you. Um, all right, so give me one more. Actually, yeah, look. You're getting downloads, that's why. You guys, and this is, you're changing. You're changing with divine messages here. Um, that's, that may be what's making you so tired. The divine is like giving you downloads. You feel compelled maybe to do some more research on like um, a new area of the spirituality, right? Um, something like that. Because you're getting downloads. It's like you've feel like you may need to know more, reach for more knowledge, right? But, I mean, don't exhaust yourself for crying out loud. Um, okay, so let's get some uh, advice for you. An oracle here. Yep, yeah, so as you move forward and you're choosing a new path, you're surrendering this to the divine. They're giving you gifts. I kind of see these downloads as gifts, right? That's going to help you further on your journey. 
Um, yeah. It's just that they're making you really tired. All right. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? This person is going to come forward. They're chasing after you now. This never-ending story, it's about to end. I feel like you guys have been feeling like, oh my gosh, I just can't take this anymore, right? Oh, when is this going to be over? I feel like the hardest part is over, and you're leaving on that jet. This came out in reverse. You're leaving on that jet plane. You're leaving very quickly. And I feel like with a 10 here, the worst is over, collective. Okay, the worst is over. Get poised and ready because I'm telling you, your milk and honey, your land of milk and honey, it's about to be dropped in your lap. Um, you're going places and you're being led in a specific direction. It's going to be different for all of you. Maybe it's just moving forward out of a mind space, right? Um, you may even be learning more and staying up to read just to distract yourself here. I feel like you're being led and getting downloads. But yeah, your land of, of milk and honey is here. You're uh, somewhere over the rainbow, it's here. Now is the time to get ready to accept a, these new blessings coming in. Um, but either way, I feel like you're going to get communication. Um, you're going to get clarity. That ends this never-ending story, guys. It ends it one way or another, Whatever, no matter what you decide. If you decide to take this person back, you know, that's up to you. If you decide not to take them back, that's up to you too. But either way, you're going to get communication and you're going to get clarity. Okay? So this feeling is about to be over. Get ready to accept all of your abundance. All of your happiness you're somewhere over the rainbow it's here okay and it's coming to you 